The mother of an Omaha teen who suffered critical head injuries during an accident speaks to us about the crash. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiotto. Happening locally tonight live at 5 o'clock, a young woman is recovering right now from critical head injuries, this after being involved in that two-car crash last week. Her parents are happy that their daughter has had the chance to recover, and they are speaking out to our John Chapman. Most of us see them on the streets every day. Fire trucks, cop cars, first responders. We really don't think much about them until they're responding to help us or someone we love. Last week, first responders had to help 17-year-old Melissa Gleason. Melissa was a passenger in an SUV involved in a crash here at 30th and Fort. The car got hit on the driver's side, so um, she, she was sitting on that side and, and uh, took the brunt of, of the, uh, the, the trauma. Melissa is now in intensive care at Creighton University Medical Center. Her parents say their little girl is still critical but improving. Yeah, she's coherent. And, you know, she, she can respond to people who come and visit her. She squeezes people's hands. Uh, she recognizes Steve and I and her boyfriend. She really recognizes her boyfriend. It's the men and women who are out on the streets helping others every day that they want to thank for saving their baby girl. My biggest, biggest fear was always getting that knock on the door. And that night when I got that knock on the door and there was an officer standing there and telling me that my daughter was in ICU, my world changed forever. And her world's changed forever. But had it not been for those first responders, this would have been a totally different outcome. But without them, she wouldn't Those alive. paramedics, what they did for her. She, she had to put, be put on breathing support uh, on, a resp on a ventilator right at the sink. Mm -hmm. They and innovated so, her so right without, there. You know, without that, that help, there's, there's no way she would have made it. Paramedics and other first responders go above and beyond on every call. It's their job, but it's nice to hear a thank you. Uh, we don't always hear that. There's a lot of times you hear the negative, but uh, it's always nice to, to hear that people are appreciative. And then the, a lot of times we don't find out how the people ended up, so it's always good also to, to get a little follow-up from the family about how the people are doing. Melissa's parents say their daughter has a long way to go before she recovers and they will pray for her every day. And you can believe that the people who turn on those red lights on their way to help are also praying for Melissa. With photographer Mike Clues, John Chapman, WWT 6 News. Melissa was one of four people involved in that crash. The other three have been released from the hospital.